Hello and welcome to Cookies Game Point. Today I have to report to you that I have just changed my CPU cooler. Don't worry, nothing bad has happened to the Ice Edge 200T. It's just that I found that it wasn't fulfilling my needs anymore. That's what she said. But anyway, what happened was I used to run on an AMD FX6200 which didn't run too hot so the Ice Edge was working just fine when I was still using that. But since I upgraded to an AMD FX8350, my temperatures went a lot higher because the AMD FX8350 is a really, really powerful CPU. So I found most of the time when I was playing a game like Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare, it would go over 60 degrees centigrade and it would peak up to over 70 degrees, which is a bad thing because I found that my CPU was throttling down, which means that it wasn't performing as it should be. So in order to solve my heating problem, I decided to get the Cooler Master Hyper TX3 CPU cooler, which was priced at around 20 US dollars. So why did I get this instead of the better performing and more popular Hyper 212 Evo from Cooler Master as well? Um, it's simply because there was no space in my case. Money is not an issue when it comes to cooling your PC because cooling is important for the longevity of your parts. So I just didn't have space for it and the TX3 was the only thing available to me that would fit my computer. So that's why I got it. Before we go into the performance of the CPU cooler, let's talk about some of its features. So the Hyper TX3 is actually compatible with both Intel and AMD chipsets. And like the Ice Edge 200T, you do not have to remove anything at the back of your motherboard. You don't have to install any new brackets or anything. If you want to see what the installation looks like, I'm going to link two videos down below, one for the Intel installation and one for the AMD installation. So just check those out if you're curious. So this CPU cooler comes with three direct contact heat pipes. That's one more than the Ice Edge 200T. And also the aluminum parts are larger than that of the Ice Edge. And just from looking at the product itself, you can tell that the aluminum that they use is of a lot better quality than the Ice Edge 200T. The box does include a 92 millimeter fan, but if you need to mount a second fan, they do provide you with some accessories to do that. It's very easy to install the accessories onto a secondary fan, and it's also very easy to clip the fans on and also to clip them off of the heatsink whenever needed. So that's another plus for Cooler Master's Hyper TX3. So using my 92mm fan from the last cooler, here on this cooler as a secondary fan, I managed to get temperatures of around 50 degrees or more under load, and those temperatures would peak to only around 62 degrees. So there was a decrease of more than 10 degrees, I'd say, and that was a very good decrease as I don't feel any more CPU throttling issues. Overall, the Cooler Master Hyper TX3 provides good value for its price, it's compact, and it does its cooling job very well. One thing I would have to complain about is the noise. Of course, it's not as noisy as the AMD stock cooler, but it is pretty noisy, especially when you have two fans on it. This could probably be fixed if you could buy more expensive silent fans, but since I'm using two cheap fans, it is quite noisy, so do keep that in mind when you buy this product. So anyway guys, I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you'd like to see more unboxings and reviews, do leave a comment down below telling me what kind of stuff you'd like to see. Leave a like if you liked the video, leave a dislike if you didn't. Thank you for watching, I'll see you guys next time.